Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm happy to see you here today with us and I really hope that you're doing well. If you're not a subscriber to our channel, please do so right now by clicking this little button on your screen and we will see you on a regular basis. We will have some high quality content on cars, trucks and travel. Uh, in this video, we are going to install a snorkel on this fun, great Toyota Tacoma, which is our ongoing project. It is 4x4 with a locking differential, and the idea is to turn this fun truck into a proper overland vehicle. What do we have in plans? Well, going to install the snorkel, upgraded suspension uh, with longer travel, upgraded set of rims, mud tires, Replace the rear bumper, the front bumper. The bumper will come probably with the winch and the protection guard with some set of lights. Probably going to build a rack in the back. We'll decide also if you have any suggestions or if you have built one of those, please send me a link or just drop something in the comments. I would really appreciate it. So first step, we're going to raise the truck, take off the wheel, uh, remove the fender flare, the liner in the back, inside of the fender. Uh, we're going to set a main hole for the intake connection or the intake connector between the existing intake to the future snorkel uh, and then set it up as a little bracket here on the top. So a few steps, but you know, it's not as easy as it sounds. So when you will be drilling, be very careful, especially with the upper bolt here, not to just damage your antenna assembly. Now, the kind of tools you would need. Of course, the drill, three and a quarter uh, hole saw, or if you're in the metric zone, it's 83 millimeter. I use the black silicon. Uh, it will be up for you to decide uh, later in the video if you will use it or not because it gets a little messy with it but protects your truck. A pair of pliers, scissors so you can cut off uh, the old clips in your liner and the fender flare. Of course your old-time friend uh, Mr. Hammer. You would need a half inch wrench, eighth of an inch hex key, 10 millimeter socket and 5 16 millimeter socket for your clamp adjustments. So this is it. Let's roll. Do you know what this is? Have you seen this before, like on trucks or SUVs? Huh? Yeah, I think. Do you know what it's for? It goes right here. Is it for the exhaust? Or another guess. Air? No. Yep, yeah, exactly. So, uh, when you go, let's say, in the deep water, like crossing a river or a lake or a stream, uh, the engine gets air from about here. And let's say if you got into a water at a certain point to this level and the water gets inside of the engine, it will stop. Sometimes actually can damage the engine. So what this does, you connect uh, what's inside of the air, uh, the air intake to this pipe with rubber hose to here. And now your engine is breathing all the way from here. So what it will take to make a hole here, attach this guy like so, and then connect the rubber hose inside. Right. You want to cut the hole? Oh, the truck yeah. in the camper? Huh? You can do it. I don't <laughs> want it. I'm excited to finally start working on this guy. Mm -hmm. Well, the rim got stuck. To the drum because again the truck is from New York and it married to each other. So what I did 
uh, just tap it between the bolts. If you get a feel like this, you feel. And then it should come up like that. Always put the tire, or the wheel that you took off, underneath the car truck, the side that you're working on. This way, if your car truck drops, not all the way on the drum, but it will be sitting on the wheel. Take already? Oh, it's gone in August by August. So first, uh, detach these clips and then slide it sort of on the inward towards the center of the truck. Uh, like I said, just make sure you have the replacement plugs. Here, check it out. Not bad at all. I'm surprised. The only, even if you go underneath, still looks good with just an exception uh, out there. Not that big of a deal. So here is your, can you point up a little bit? So here is your air intake pipe. And as you can tell, right here, it's just open. I'm going to pre-drill all the penetrations with the small drill bit. I have my sunglasses on because I couldn't find my goggles. Again, not a necessity, but since we only got one set of eyes, protect yourself. Not that big of a deal. So give it in reverse a little bit and then go forward. Uh, the saw is grabbing quickly, so it's a little too aggressive. Okay, so now it's the time to prep the snorkel. Now let's set the snorkel in place. Mark to where this bracket on top will get going. I will just go through the window gasket and we'll add some silicon into there. So just try to move it towards you as much as you can so your penetrations will be not in the glass. I'm going to double check that my holes are gonna be in the metal. Yep, they're gonna be in the flat metal. So we should be fine. So let's pre-drill. Quick spray of the primer. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Until we make the turn. Okay, so this one is on, on the existing pipe. We have that one up. Let's put the clamp on.
So by the time you are done and everything is done properly, the snorkel is on there. <laughs> Look at that, <laughs> really tight. Probably one of the most exciting moments is setting this guy on. Oh, it looks really good. And the transformation, the looks, the looks are important, right? Hey, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. I hope you liked it and it was or will be at some point useful to you. If so, if you liked it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon.